everybody, welcome back. It's the Revolution, and today, guys, we're playing some Stoneheart. This is the Alpha 10 new splash screen. I mean, I'm not that much of a fan of it, but I think it looks pretty nice, so here are the patch notes if you guys just want to check these out real quick. Okay, you know, I know this is the test track week, but I, I just thought you guys were going to be suffering from withdrawals, so I mean, I had to play a little bit of it. it just, it's just such a fun game, guys. Plus, I'll make it a part of the test track series just to see, like, how well it does compared to the other ones, so I can get kind of a good... You know, like scale of what I'm like, what I'm supposed to be doing. And if you guys haven't seen Stone Art and don't know what it is, then wh where the hell have you been? It's all over my fucking channel. But you know, that's fine. You know, whatever. I'll sh I'll tell you, explain it throughout the video because I do I do gain new viewers like every single day just because like subscribers are awesome people. I love you all. So some people may not be familiar with Stone Art, and that's a shame because it's a really good game. So just ignore the phone because my phone's annoying. All right, where are we going? Well, I do like this pocket of water right here. There's not really much around here, but this is this is where I would go. But I want to be near water, so I'm gonna plunk him, my plunk my little thing down right, right here. I think this looks like a good spot, like around here, just because it's it's like wide open area, and you know, it just I just think it looks good. So our name is gonna be the stone. With an E, because we need the E. And the stone. This is the stone, okay, people? Do not confuse it with a stone or his stone. It is the stone. Okay, so what are you going to do first in Stone Hearth? And just to, like, catch you guys up, Stone Hearth is kind of a city building game slash town management. So the first thing we want to do is, you know, get some resources. Start harvesting some stuff and really gain up a wealth of wood and just materials in general so what this blue thing is going to be is a stockpile i'm sure most people have heard of these in the past or at least know what a stockpile does it's where all your resources go so again pretty standard stuff so far once you've got a lot of your resources kind of you know really managed and all organized and such the next thing you want to do is go over to your little hearth links or citizens tab oh i should probably explain what all these do so this is your town info this is everything in your town your net worth is basically what your town is net worth is if you don't know what net worth is then holy shit go to like business school or something this is your overall happiness you got food and your shelter these are these are your workers these are your crafters and these are your defenders all different types of classes and such uh this is like basically the resources and this is a journal your journal is like what your hearthlings or the little guys down that you guys see right now it, it, the journal is where they want like they, they tell you your feedback like I can't speak right now But whatever they give you feedback in the journal. Okay, your citizens tab This is where all your citizens are listed and their jobs and their names and all that cool stuff Oh also if you click on these lines, it'll bring up like a character Oh, no, that's just the change jobs menu if you click on this thing It'll bring up their character sheet, which is really cool I'll probably talk about that more later if you click over here This is the uh, job web menu or like the job web. This is how you promote slash demote people from classes Come on down to the harvest menu this is basically, you, you say to harvest that, they'll harvest it. You say to mine this, they'll mine that. This is the cancel task and the clear button. You probably can figure out what those means. You got designated zones, farming, uh, trapper, and animal pasture. But all we need at the moment is the stockpile. We have the build and design, which is really, really cool. And it's actually, they've made a huge update on it. This is the voxel editor now. It's finally in the game. You got walls, voxels, you know, floor one, walls again, I guess. Or like walls for the house, um, floor two, roof, furniture, and then like windows and doors. So the the uh, what's it called? The building freaking menu is actually really in depth. That's one of my favorite things. This is a so if you have templates, if you don't know what a template is, a template template is like a basic kind of a pre-decided whatever like house, and you can just kind of plunk those down. I really like templates. This is the design building. This is place building. So this is like for your templates. This is for you just go right to the design menu. This is, you know, I think this is furniture. Just, no, place an item in general. So if you have, like, a lamp or something, you can place that with this menu. Construct a ladder to get up to different heights. Okay, so now that's out, that's out of the way, we have fight and, like, the fight and defend menu. You got parties, uh, town defense mode, and loot. So what parties are, you basically select a group of members and you make them into a party. And then you can kind of control them with the attack order or the rally and defend order. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, can I delete this? Yes, disband. Uh, the town defense mode, I'll show you what that does. It puts everybody in a attacking position, so they're ready to attack. And then this last one is loot, so say you attack like an enemy village or something, and then you basically kill everything and you want to steal its stuff, you drag that over the stuff. Okay, so now that that's all out of the way, and this is just bulletins, kind of notification stuff. Now that that's out of the way, we have a nicely organized stockpile of wood. We can come over to the hearthlings menu and start actually changing jobs. First job you want to go for, carpenter. Carpenter by far... One of the most important classes, so somebody's gonna go promote themselves to a carpenter. There you are. Okay, so... 
Okay, so this, see, this is like nice. This is a nice random thing to do. So one guy is just gonna leave us a basket of corn because he's a cool guy. So now our carpenter, which can be designated by the blue banner, is you know this guy Pony. We're gonna actually make him build his workshop. His workshop is extremely important. It's like what gives the carpenter power is his workshop. Meanwhile, while they're all doing that, we're gonna go back to the harvest menu and get some of these berries for food. So we'll get like those. Are there any other berries nearby? We'll get some of these. You know, just for food for now, uh, we're going to get farmers later on. And again, this isn't like going to be like a stable let's play. This is going to be like a test track thing just to see how it scales up. I mean, I could do it. I'm obviously going to do a let's play after this once the test track week is over. So don't you guys worry. This game is definitely one of my favorites. It's a, it's a solid game on my channel. Well, now we're going to come over to the Carpenter's Workbench. So this is where you can make everything that the Carpenter can make, I guess. Wow, that was really badly worded, but you get the idea. So all this food storage, this is a, this is a mod. And this is a mod too. So don't worry about any of this crap. But the basic items, we have like all of these cool stuff. You know, kind of decorations over here. We have armor. That's wicked important. We have furniture. Again, beds are extremely important in this game, especially comfy beds. We have building parts, you know, if you wanted to build stuff. Lanterns, again, like I said, that add light. And then we have tools and weapons, which are by far the most important thing that the carpenter can craft. So you need a farmer, you build the farmer's hoe. Bang. You need a sword, um, swordsman, you build a sword. You need a, whatever, mason, you build a mason thing. And some things actually require you to be a higher level than what you're currently at. So each guy is going to level up and progress and gain new perks. I'll show you what the perks are. Now, if you go over to the character sheet, I think you can just click that. Yep, you can go to job abilities. These are all the uh, perks that your guy could unlock at the moment. So we have level one, standard catalog, collaborative insight or whatever, artistic inspiration, extended catalog, and 10,000 hours, which is not yet in the game, but will be eventually and i'm sure it's going to be awesome so each class has its kind of own little upgrade system again this game is really in depth it's kind of like an rpg slash city management so now that that's taken care of we can actually build our first other class which is the farmer here we go change jobs we're going to make you the farmer how does it feel okay wait for it it's going to be in our stockpile first which it now is there we go promoting you to the farmer so the farmer what he slash she does i don't know who it's going to be who's it going to be who's going to pick up this goddamn thing okay so what he's going to do what roke is going to do he's going to come over to some place that i designate and he's going to make a farm so i'll show you real quick i like making square farms these are all the awesome things in the game that you can grow at the moment. We have turnip, carrot, corn, pumpkin, silkweed, which is kind of like a crafting thing. And hold on, a daily update. Oh, what the daily update is, is a good time to mention it, is if you meet all these requirements by the end of a day, you will gain another settler. So that's kind of what the daily update is. So back to what I was saying, you have pumpkin, silkweed, and then these like decoration flowers, which really aren't that useful. What I like doing are turnips because they're fast growing and they're pretty good for when you're just starting off in your new settlement. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, is our carpenter level one yet? No, she is not. We'll make another another uh, sword and another farm or so, just in case, and also to raise the level. All right, so these guys that are just kind of standing around, they're our workers. What our workers are going to do, they're actually going to build a building, which is cool, right? So first, you're going to start off with the floor. You can select from either stone or wood. Oh my god, the stone looks really cool. I'm probably just, you know, we don't have any stone, so we're going to go wood. The wood is going to be, it's going to be a wooden floor, obviously. It's going to be an 8x8 house. We're going to put on some walls. I want the walls to be made out of wood. And, yeah, obviously the column's going to be made out of wood. Just because I do not have any stone. So, we're going to go to the second floor. See if this actually works, which would be a miracle. And we're going to make a second floor with a different color. I know, cool stuff, guys. Alright, so this this isn't really, like, completely implemented yet. So, you kind of got to bear with me a little bit here. So, we're going to make little openings. So, we can, like, put ladders through it. So, they can actually get up to the second floor. Then, we'll raise the walls again. Oh, that looks slightly odd. Well, I'm going to try to work. Okay, yeah. Never mind. That just, just, just looks weird. It's not going to work out. Uh, we're just going to not put the hole. So you can't really use the second floor yet unless you build a, what I'm going to show you now. Again, guys, early build. Unless you build like a door above it and then kind of like a ladder up there. So yeah, it's kind of funky, but what evs? And also we're going to build like a little porch. So when people actually get up there, they'll know what the hell they're doing. There we go. So it'll be like a little porch. And yeah, this is going to be our little house. We'll add a roof as well. So this is kind of how the build menu works. Standard roof. And there you go, guys. That's our first little retardedly looking building. But whatever. This over here is going to tell you what you need. You're going to need two double wooden door and nine wood. So yeah, start building that. Again, this, is, this may not work. It's in alpha. There's lots of bugs and they're always, you know, fixing stuff. So we're going to make two large wooden doors just because that's what the building requires. All right, so come over here. Two large wooden door. Oh, wait, was that just two? Okay, whatever. Same thing. 
God dang it. Uh, everybody's gonna go sit over here and eat. Again, the villagers do have requirements like food. Eventually, they will have a, like a water requirement, but that's not in the game yet. So, we're home free on that front. Awesome. So, let's come over here and let's actually promote you to a footman so I can show you what a footman does. Footmen are actually really important because sometimes uh, a goblin village is gonna spawn near you or zombies are gonna attack you at night and you just you need a way to fight them off. That's where the footman comes in. That's what they look like. They actually patrol your village. Stuff like that. You can upgrade them with armor and weapons which is what we're gonna do soon. So I really like that feature in this game is the fact that you can upgrade your guys. It's just, it just makes the game so much more in depth and really makes the game feel RPG like. So again feeling that. Loving that uh, little feature. Come on, click the harvest. This is annoying me. Get this tree out of here. So while these workers are going to do that, our farmer is going to farm and our patroller is going to patrol. Well, our farmer actually isn't going to do anything except for kind of clean up just because he already built his farm. So now he has to wait for it to grow. I guess meanwhile, we could do another farm because why the hell not? And I could show you guys what another plant looks like, hopefully. So this time, we're going to do some carrots. Carrots are also fast growing. They're the second fastest freaking crop in the game. So I'd highly suggest them right off the bat. Okay, so see how our guy got his little shield. He actually looks really cool when he fights too now because he can use that a block. Okay, so I think our carpenter is actually level one. Yes, he is. So now we can make the mason's chisel, the shepherd's crook, and the weaver's spindle. All three like extremely important things that you need to upgrade your regular workers to, you know, more prestige class-like workers. Okay, so now the doors are being put on. So that's that first door being put on now. And, you know, you could furnish this whole building if you wanted to, but I'm just trying to show you guys basically what it's all about. So, again, our farm is going to continue farming. Our whatever is going to continue patrolling. Hopefully, we get attacked by zombies tonight so I can show off what it looks like to fight and all that awesome stuff. But until then, we just finished the Mason's whatever. Can't hammer, I think. Oh, come on. What do you mean I can't promote somebody? Isn't it in there? It's not in there? Okay, whatever. So, we'll promote somebody to the Trapper. The Trapper is an extremely important class just because you cannot have a Shepherd without, a, like, a level 5 Trapper. So, you see how that works? It kind of goes in, like, a tree. Uh, I'll show you guys the job menu again. Change jobs. So, see this Trapper? You can't get to, like, the Shepherd, which is kind of, like, the next rank without having, like, a level 5 uh, Trapper, which is, which is really cool because think about it. Also, this is a mod, guys. Do not pay attention to this Engineer class. It is not in the game yet. So, say, you know, you have a Trapper, promote it to Shepherd, then you can do it to, like, Big Game Hunter, Big Game Hunter, or, like, I don't know, some, like, exotic thing that they haven't really announced yet. But I'm excited for those classes. Uh, I'm assuming one of them is going to be, like, the Magma Smith, which is something that they hinted at. Uh, it's kind of like a Blacksmith update, upgrade, or, I don't know, different than a Blacksmith, I guess. A Blacksmith is also a wicked important class. Okay, so we have our Trapper now. What the Trapper is going to do is we're going to set out an area, and they're basically going to set traps and catch animals. So there we go. I'll show you what the traps looks like eventually, or this guy actually right now. So he's going to come over to his little trapped area, and he's going to start placing down traps. And eventually little critters are going to wander in there and get killed. And we're going to use them. We're either going to tame them, or we're going to eat them, sadly. If you do not like animal abuse, then stone hearth is not for you. So job abilities. The trapper has a lot more than the carpenter, I guess. So we have speed up, charm pet, which is when you can like have like a pet, efficient cuts, job opportunities, backpack size plus eight, yada, 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 really cool stuff. The deadliest catch is actually really awesome. I can't wait to, to actually unlock this in a let's play just because if you have goblins, like a raid party is attacking your village, you can use this guy's deadliest catch mechanic to actually kill them. So, wicked helpful. All right, so they're on the second whatever story of that awesome building. I know I'm talking really fast, guys, but I'm trying to get... All the information I can out as fast as possible. Oh, I know why this isn't working. Because we don't have any stone and it requires stone. That makes more sense. Alright, so to gather stone, you gotta go over here to the mine button or whatever. And you just gotta, you gotta stop mining something out. So hopefully our workers will go over there and mine that out, get some stone, and then we'll be able to make the mason's chisel. So what the mason does is kind of like the carpenter. He has his own like set of things that he can make. And, you know, that sort of stuff. I'm not gonna make this video too long, so I think this is where I'm gonna end it off. Again, oh, nice little daily update. Here you go. We're not going to make it that time. So sad. Oh, and our farmers reached level one. So, guys, this is what Stoneheart is. If you want more, make sure you comment, like, share, do whatever you like, you know? Just talk to me if you want. But, yeah, Stoneheart is a great game. If you guys want more, make sure you guys let me know. All right. Have a nice day. Peace.